Hello and welcome to English Center. Happy to see all of your smiling faces once again. This is Humayun Kabir. Today I'm going to talk about spoken English and today I will try to show you one conversation between two students at university and I will try to show you how they get introduced with each other and also how they actually talk at the first time. Let's go. Well, first of all, let me acknowledge that I have taken this conversation from a website and I will give you the link in the description that if you want to visit that website, you can. But in this conversation, I have changed slightly with the names and also place. Other than this, everything is exactly the same one what I have actually taken. Let's go. Two students are talking at university. Nadia. Hello, my name is Nadia. Welcome to our university. Alif. Hi, I'm Alif. Nadia, nice to meet you. Alif, nice to meet you too. So now look at this, how they greet each other actually. Nadia says, hello, my name is Nadia. So here, hello, this is a very formal one. And Alif is saying hi. So hello is the most formal one and hi is a little bit casual, a little bit informal one, but it's okay, okay. Then nice to meet you. This is also formal one, nice to meet you. And Alif says, nice, nice to meet you too. Then, where are you from, Alif? I'm from Bangladesh. How about you? Look at this. Very good English. How about you? How about you means the previous question. So here, Nadia is asking, where are you from, Alif? Alif is saying, I'm from Bangladesh means, how about you means, how about means like, how, where are you from too? So uh, here, where are you from, Alif? So Alif is saying, I'm from Bangladesh. How about you? If uh, she said this way, how old are you? I'm 10 years old or I'm 30 years old. How about you? How about you means the same question or oh, he is asking actually. So I'm from France. So Nadia is answering the question. I'm from France. Then Alif is saying, is this your first time in London? No, I've been living in London for about three years now. So. This is good English. I've been living in London. I've been living in London. So present perfect continuous tense we are using because three years. So she is spending here. So this way, I uh, know I've been living in London for about three years now. Alif, I see. This is also good English. I see like this kind of feelers. English people use it frequently. Not only this one, but also other like mm, er, I mean, you know, well, this kind of feelers they use in their conversation. So I see, have you been studying here for all that time, all the time means all the three years? Okay, he is not repeating the same word like all these three years, not like that. He is saying that all that time, it means the same thing. Okay, Nadia is saying, yes, this is my third year here. I've got one more year to go. Good English here. Yeah. I've got, got, they use this word actually, this particular word frequently. They say got, got in many places you'll find they use this word, got. So I've got one more year to go. To go means just I have one year. To go means futurity, it means. Okay, this is also very good English in examination a uh, time also like invigilators say uh, five minutes to go five minutes you have just five minutes it means five minutes to go okay good english then alif is saying that uh, what are you studying okay he wants to know the subject i'm studying english literature okay i want to be a linguist linguist means like who is expert in uh, expert in grammar actually okay and applied linguistics. It means how the language works. Then how about you? Same question. How about you? Here, here Alif asked the question, how about you? Means the same question uh, that uh, she, uh, he, she will repeat. And she said that I'm from France. And here, uh, how about you means, and this time she wants to know that she is saying about how she is starting and what actually she want to be and here she is asking the same question and she wants uh, she wants that 
uh, Alif will answer the question, okay. And Alif says here, sounds cool, I want to be a school teacher. That means uh, Nadia says, I want to be, I want to be a linguist. That means she wants to be uh, like expert in language. And now Alif is saying, sounds cool. This is also very good English. Okay, sounds cool, sounds great. It means like it sounds great. It means the previous one, what actually she said. She said that I want to be a linguist. So Alif is saying, sounds cool, sounds great. It is actually very good English, okay. Then I want to be a school teacher. So he is answering the previous question that how about you? How about you that he he's saying, he is answering the question that I want to be a school teacher. That's great. This one also. That's great. That they frequently appreciate. Okay. If you say something, then they will take the question. If you ask any question, they will receive the question. Well, you wanted to say this this way. Well, like, uh, you know, this kind of thing actually they use in their language frequently. So if we want to be native-like, then we have to use this kind of, um, this kind of phrases in our language much. Okay, so here sounds cool. And this time Nadia is saying, that's great, okay. Then Alif is saying, I've always wanted to study abroad, so I came to London, okay. So I came to London, good one. You could say I have come to London, but usually people do not use present perfect. In American English, they do not use it at all. In British English, they use it, but this time here present uh, perfect, you could use like that's why I have come here. If you actually Bengali to English translate it, then the translation says that it will be present perfect, but it's quite okay to present, use past simple, okay. Then nice, once again, look at this, that appreciation, nice. Yeah, I love it here. This is very good English, I love it here, love it, okay. Love it means like it here, okay. Yeah, I love it here. I'm actually planning to live here even after I graduate, even after I graduate. Uh, after this one, usually we use like Bangalore to English translation, we use present uh, future indefinite here but it will be present indefinite, like after I graduate, or after I will graduate, not like that. If you say that way, it will be a mistake. So after this actually conjunction, uh, we do not, this is actually subordinating conjunction. After the subordinating conjunction, we usually do not use future indefinite, rather we use present indefinite or present simple, we say. Perfect. You are already from Europe, so it shouldn't be that difficult for you. Look at this, once again, the appreciation. I'm saying that they, in their language, uh, probably uh, personally, they, they are not that much polite how much we get uh, from the books, but in their language, they are very, very polite. And English people are not that much actually sober, not that much polite one. We know their black colonial history, okay but in the language they are very very polite okay so you have to use it like perfect here the appreciation once again you are already from europe so it shouldn't be that difficult we could say that much difficult they omitted it okay that difficult good one that difficult for you nadia yeah i will just need to convince my parents what about you? Once again, previously we got, how about you? And now what we are getting the same thing. What about you? What about me? You means like Nadia, like Nadia is from Europe and she wants to leave here after she graduates. So she wants to know that what about you means like, what is your opinion? Okay. So Alif is saying, I love London. Means I like London. Okay. So they usually say love instead of like. Okay. I love London, but I'm just here for school. I will need to go back once I graduate anyway. Okay. That is after the graduation, I will leave this country. I will not stay in this country. I see. Well, good luck to you. Once again, this is the filler and this is the appreciation. Okay. I see. Well, good luck to you. Then I have to go to class now. It was nice talking with you. Okay, then thank you. You too, and have a good class.
goodbye this way they actually conclude the conversation okay so in this conversation probably you got something which sounds like native like like native people how they talk actually you got this some some feelers some appreciation how they start the conversation and how they conclude the conversation something you got it i believe uh, still yes this kind of conversation will be continued because i what i actually believe that like in in our country in bangladesh most of the teachers they actually uh, in the name of teaching spoken english they once again start teaching grammar this is not actually i will not say this is a mistake rather in in my first time like when i started teaching students i spoke in english then i started that way but what i found that that way actually to make a student fluent and also native like like something we got here like sounds cool that's great and this kind of expression to give them it takes much time so this is what i believe that if the students are learned through the conversation from the beginning and this kind of conversation like uh, like 50 conversation or 100 conversation in different situation in the market in the airport in the bus in the train in like buying something this kind of conversation if continued then i think students will learn better and through the practice they can acquire the language better hopefully it will be helpful for you and this kind of conversation are coming and i think you enjoy this video and you'll be enjoying my coming video up to this if you didn't subscribe to my channel please do it now other than this one thing i would like to say that is love your country and do something for the humanity thank you for watching this video